So you wanna know what I use for eyeshadow brushes? Well, I'm fixing to tell you guys. Hi YouTube family and welcome into today's video where we are going to be doing a follow-up video to the video I did last week about face brushes. I showed you five of my favorites and when we talked about doing the eyeshadow ones, several of you were really excited to see them. This can be such a difficult topic with eyeshadow brushes because face brushes are easy. Okay, this one does blush, this one does powder, this one does highlighter. You got it nailed, it's not that big of a deal. You can go through a couple, you can figure out what are your favorites, but when you get into these little teeny intricate brushes that are, are for eyeshadow and other things, then what? We're going, we're almost lost, right? So I have 11 eye brushes right here, you guys. I know that sounds like a lot. I don't use them all every time. And one of them is actually an eyebrow brush that I use every single day. But I did wanna show it to you because I feel like it's a brush that really gets kind of overlooked. My eyebrow game lately, I feel like has kind of gone to uh, a better place, if you will. And I've been able to do my eyebrows so much better. And it's because of this tool right here. This is the one from Benefit. This was a gift from someone to me. So it wasn't one that I would have normally just gone, oh yeah, I want that brush. It's $20. It's me. It's me. I, I don't normally do that kind of thing. So I want to show you how good I think this is and the reason, but I'm also going to put in the description box a link to one that I think is just as good. But the reason that it's so good, I feel like, is of course the spoolie on this end. I use a spoolie through my entire eyebrow routine several different times. The reason that I love the other end of it is because I've been using gel instead of an eyebrow pencil. I really enjoy using this. It's very angled, but what's great about it is how stiff it is. And it will do those little strokes that look like actual brow hairs, which I think is fantastic. So that's my first one, not technically an eyeshadow brush, but basic your basic eyebrow brush. Okay, the second one, this one I have been using for, I don't know, long, long time. But this is the Morphe M441. You can get this now at Ulta. This is a fluffy blending brush. This is what I do my transition color with every time. It just has a really great way of being soft enough to blend out that transition color and then, you know, kind of blend all your colors together at the very end which I love. And so that's the large one. Large fluffy brush is the first one that I start out with, with my eye looks. And then the second one that I use is a medium fluffy brush. And this one is from Luxie. This is actually called a small tapered blending, but it's from Luxie. And I think this says it's the 231. If that's different, you'll see it up on the screen. But this is what I go in with my next color underneath the, or you know, kind of lower than the transition color. And I'm starting to get some depth into the crease with this one. The next one that I have is from Royal and Langnickel, and th this is their Revolution one, and I think this says BX80. And again, you'll see it on the screen if I am not quoting it right. This shader brush is invaluable to me. This is what I put on my darkest color right there in the outer part of my lid and then, you know, blend it up just a little bit to give that a little bit of height right there. It's not just thin. It has a little bit of thickness to it. It's perfect for its width, but I love how stiff it is and it's not so fluffy that the color is going to go everywhere because that's what you have your fluffy blending brushes for. This is for actually doing more precision work and getting those darker colors on the outer corner of your um, lid. And, and you can be able to work with that when you need that really big color payoff out there in the corner. All right, so the next brush, I've completely rubbed the letters, name, everything off of it. But I will find one for you guys that is a reasonable price that is a good looking one for this. Okay, this is a small paddle brush or, or a very, very thin like concealer brush. You know how they do use the these shaped brushes for concealer, the bigger ones for foundation to kind of lay it down. So it's really little. And what I really love this for is almost every single time on my lid, I do use my fingers to put down my lid color because it's usually a shimmer. 
but there are times when I want to just use a brush to kind of get a little bit of blending and a little bit of evenness and also blending between my inner corner and the actual lid color right there and this one works so good for that. Okay, and speaking of that inner corner, I do use two different brushes for this for two different reasons. One is an eyeliner and one is an angled eyeliner brush, but I'll tell you why I use two different ones. So let's start with just the eyeliner one, very finely tipped. If all I'm wanting to do is just put down just a tiny bit of color in there and kind of like I have today, where it's just kind of sweeping around a little bit right there, I go ahead and I use this liner. Now it is detailed enough that I could do a teeny tiny angle right there if I wanted to, but I find that the other one that is an actual angled eyeliner brush from Sigma, this is so little, I'm gonna make sure that I throw this up here on the screen, that if I'm wanting to do a color, which occasionally I will do a, a like a brighter color right here in my inner corner, maybe a pink, a light purple, sometimes I do a little bit of blue, but I don't want that to get out of hand. I don't want the focus to go, oh, she's got a lot of blue on her inner corner. I want to just take as precision as I can and kind of line it just right there. And it turns out to be such a pretty look after you're done because you've done just a little bit in there to bring the eye over just a little bit and show off the color that you're using. So that is just really fun to be able to use that one. The next three that I have, I use for different purposes. So I don't use all three of these at the same time. The first one is kind of a large kind of shader brush, smudger brush, if you will. It is from Zoeva, and I really enjoy having this one for times when I'm wanting to smudge this outer corner right here with the lower lash line right there so I can kind of go back and forth and get a little bit thicker line out there and get the two colors to go together, which I will do quite often. But if I really want there to be color, specific color on the bottom lash line, and I wanna be bringing that all the way over, I will use this ColourPop pencil brush, which I absolutely love, you guys. I wet this and then I will put a metallic on it and it will lay that color down so well and if you need a thinner line, it can lay a thinner line down. If you need a thicker line, it can do a thicker line. Now this isn't super precision because the tip of it is a little bit rounded, but it's a really stiff one so that you're not going to be smashing the eyeshadow and getting a bigger line. So you can go as light as you want there and then you can get it as you know darkened up as you want as you layer it. So this has been one of my very favorites. I've actually mentioned that one in a lot of videos. But this one right here, this one is another Morphe one and again I can't see that to save my life so I'll make sure I throw it up here for you guys this is the most little domed rounded smudger brush and if you're using regular eyeliner so you don't want to put eyeshadow underneath your eye but you want to use whatever pretty eyeliner that you have but you know that during the day, if you just put eyeliner on, one, it's going to look just like a stark line, and two, it's probably going to smudge down there a little bit for you. So if you just take your eyeliner, you put it out there a little bit, and then you go in with this right here, and you just smudge and smudge and smudge and soften it, this does the job so good. As a matter of fact, it is what I use today to smudge my lower lash line and put on just a tiny bit of eyeshadow on top of that in order for the two to make it stay all day. But then once I got the outer part done, I could smudge it all the way over and just make it look soft and not so stark. So this is one of my favorites as well. And then lastly, what I have is, this is from Morphe. And it's kind of a weird brush. It's hard to explain. It does have a little little pinch in its head but at the same time it is fairly round and this brush is awesome for one reason only and that is to dip into some setting powder and go right underneath your eyeliner right there not on top of it not on top of the color right underneath there with the setting powder so that your eyeliner doesn't run down or doesn't travel down even right out here in the corner if you have a lot of problems with your eyeshadow or your eyeliner kind of getting a little bit of a mess right there by the middle of the day if you put a little bit of setting powder right there in the morning you're going to have a lot less problems with that so this brush right here i highly recommend as well as all the other 10 ones that i just showed you that's it for today's video you guys i hope that you did enjoy it it was very enjoyable 
for me to bring you my brushes. Now, I do want to hear from you guys and tell me what your favorite eye brushes are. I don't care if you tell me one of them or if you tell me all of them. I'd like to hear from you guys because I love testing out different products and all of these suggestions that you're giving me, I am writing those down, you guys, just so you know. The other thing is I did have a request to show you how I clean my brushes. Now, if that's something that is interesting to you guys, please let me know in the comment section because I'd be happy to do that for you. Love you guys all so very much. Take care of yourselves. Hope you're in good health and I will see you in my very next video. Bye guys.